Hi everyone, welcome to the IT Projects Ideas. In this video, we will learn how to monitor tilt angles on Blink IoT using the MPU6050 sensor and Raspberry Pi Pico develop with MicroPython code. In the Tony ID console, you can see temperature, accelerometer, and gyroscope values along with tilt angle in X, Y, and Z axis, and pitch and roll values. However, the code doesn't calculate the year value, as it requires a magnetometer that the MPU6050 does not have. Hence, the year angle cannot be accurately derived from an accelerometer and gyroscope. Before we begin, we want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor for this video. PCBWay.com PCBWay is a one-step solution for all our PCB needs, providing high-quality PCB manufacturing and assembly services at affordable prices. Be sure to check out their website for more information. The link is provided in the description. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need the following materials. Raspberry Pi Pico Double Yampio 6050 sensor, breadboard, jumper wires. The first step is to connect the Yampio 6050 sensor to the Raspberry Pi Pico Double. To do this, connect the STA and SCL pins of the Yampio 6050 sensor to the GP20 and GP21 pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico Double, respectively. Connect the VCC pin to the 3.3V pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico Double and the GND pin to the GND pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico Double. Setting up Blink 2.0 application To monitor tilt angles on Blink IoT using MPO6050 and Raspberry Pi Pico Double, you need to create a Blink project and set up a dashboard in the mobile or web application. Visit Blink.cloud and create a Blink account on the Blink website, or you can simply sign in using the register email ID. Click on Add New Template. Give any name to the hardware. Choose the hardware type as Other and the connection type as Wi-Fi. Now the template is created successfully. Now go to the web dashboard. In the web dashboard, drag and drop full gauss widget on the dashboard. You need to set all the four widgets one by one. Assign virtual pins B0, B1, B2, and B3 to temperature, angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. Add shown here. Now we need to add new devices here. Click on the source icon. Then click on add new device. Select the device from a template that you created earlier. Give any name and click on create. A device authentication token is generated now. Copy this token as this will be used in the code. The Blink dashboard setup is successfully completed now. Next, let's write the MicroPython code to monitor the tilt angles on Blink IoT. This MPU6050 MicroPython library is responsible for measuring various accelerometer and gyroscope parameters. Open your Tony IDE and save it as MPU6050.py on Raspberry Pi Pico Double. Blinklib.py provides an API that enables connectivity between your IoT hardware, which supports MicroPython or Python, and the Blink Cloud. With this API, you can send both raw and process sensor data and remotely control any connected hardware from anywhere in the world using the Blink mobile app. Copy this code and save it as blinklib.py on Raspberry Pi Pico Double board. 
This is the main.py code. In the first part of the code, we import the required libraries and initialize the I2C connection with the MPU6050 sensor. We also define the Wi-Fi credentials and Blink authentication token. You need to replace your Wi-Fi credentials and Blink authentication token from here. Next, we connect to the Wi-Fi network and initialize the Blink platform. We define a function called calculate underscore tilt underscore angles, which calculates the tilt angles of the sensor using the accelerometer data. We also define another function called complementary underscore filter, which combines the accelerometer and gyroscope data to get more accurate tilt angles. In the main loop of the code, we continuously read the data from the MPU6050 sensor and calculate the tilt angles using the calculate underscore tilt underscore angles function. We then use the complementary underscore filter function to combine the accelerometer and gyroscope data to get more accurate tilt angles. We also send the sensor data to the Blink IoT platform using the virtual write function. We use virtual pins to send the temperature, tilt angles along the X, Y, and Z axis and gyroscope data to the Blink platform. Finally, we run the Blink platform and delay for one second before repeating the low. Now, save this code as main.py or Raspberry Pi Pico Double Board. Now, you can click on the Start or Run button on Tony ID to run the code. You can now test the Blink Web app. Open the web app and navigate to the project dashboard. Now, you can see the MPU6050 sensor data gets uploaded every second. You can also configure your mobile dashboard by following these steps as shown in the video. As you can see on my screen, I have opened the Blink app on my phone. I have already created a new project and added the required widgets to display the data. Now, when I tilt the sensor in different directions, you can see the values for the temperature, tilt angles, and gyroscope data changing in real time on the Blink platform. And that's it for this project. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting IoT projects. Thank you for watching.